now there's a rumor that Itchweed, uh, brother Nero Jeff Hardy, is going to be wrestling Brock Lesnar for the title at SummerSlam, and I think that's that's baloney. There's no way. I mean, it, it would be a fun match, but there's, there's no... I don't think anyone would expect somebody the size of Jeff Hardy to be able to contend with Lesnar. Like, I don't I don't see that being a bel- believable that Jeff Hardy... I mean, maybe that, you know, obviously they can make it believable, but if you look at the people... Is it possible? Is it what? That we're not seeing Lesnar until SummerSlam? That would be horrible. It's very possible. That would be absolutely abysmal if, if, if we have a... Because it's... I don't know. Just like, why, why watch Raw then? If you just have a show where there's no championship and then they have a show the next night where there is a championship... And it's already a better show. It's already more palatable because it's two hours and not three. But it just every it just makes everything about that show more watchable. Yeah, it's Listen, just I've been saying this since day one, the first title reign he had, that it's just it's nonsense that the guy is champion. Yeah. And he's not on the show. That's just it is what it is, you know? Yeah. No, it's it's But Jeff yeah, Jeff Hardy and Brock Lesnar. It's also strange too because you know Jeff Hardy is obviously in a tag team and currently they're the tag team champion, so then like what's Matt gonna do at SummerSlam if that's the case? Unless he broke you know, a lot could happen between now and then. He could be broken by that point, he could be doing something else. Uh who knows? But you know, for the time being it's kinda weird to speculate that match for Jeff and Brock Lesnar. Now do we think there's a chance that we're getting Braun beats Roman this Sunday? And then he's going to get the next shot at Lesnar, and we're going to actually get. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, he should be the one facing Lesnar. Thank like, you. I, I mean, I'd, I'd say this a little more if we didn't see Goldberg just like decimate Lesnar within seconds uh, twice in the past six months. But uh, really, the, the the cooler story would have been to see Braun Strowman do to Lesnar what Lesnar did to Cena a couple of years ago. But they're not going to do that, are they? They're not doing that now. <laughs> yeah, it is, just needs to get. Yeah. It, it is kind of hard to believe Shane that he gets that much money. He's like the highest paid guy, and he works so little. And like, uh, just yeah. So I haven't looked at, at statistics to back this up or anything, but like, does Brock Lesnar really draw that that many eyeballs to the product? I mean, sure. I mean, he definitely draws eyeballs to the product, but like enough to uh, to I don't know. To, the like, be- he makes so much money. Being that know? they they have renewed his contract. I think multiple times at this point, um, there must be some evidence that he being on the marquee or, or on the card draws more viewers. I mean, I think I th- I would take that as a foregone conclusion because I'm pretty sure the same thing happened in UFC. Like when Lesnar's on the card, people buy. So he's clearly a draw. Um, and maybe maybe it justifies it. Now, you know when you go to the UFC, and you know this is just me thinking as a wrestling fan, but but UFC, I can understand why he would draw a lot of eyeballs, just because a lot of the wrestling fans are now going to watch who wouldn't normally watch UFC just because it's Lesnar. Whereas UFC fans are not going to watch WWE because Lesnar's on a WWE card. So I don't think it goes. You both probably ways. have a lot like, more casual wrestling fans that don't order everything or don't subscribe to the network. Um, perhaps I'm just, I'm waiting for the time when like, so I think that people, um, finally have jumped on the bandwagon on Bray Wyatt of saying, or I guess jumped off the bandwagon on Bray Wyatt to be more accurate of this guy sucks. and doesn't do anything. He always loses. Why do I care anymore? Uh, I'm waiting for the day when people do have at Lesnar. Like the guy sucks. He doesn't do anything. He does. He's going to get on every bandwagon. time and out. Like, why am I still watching Lesnar? You know, uh, uh, that's an excellent point about the, the UFC thing. And, uh, Fuck, I just lost my total shit. You know what I would do with the money with fucking Brock Lesnar? <laughs> so I would get rid of his ass, save the fucking money, and with that money, just fucking buy TNA and shut down that fucking whorehouse once and <laughs> for all. It's not even worth it. It's not worth $12 million, though. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely just, not. It, it's worth it just to get the tape library to be like, here, this is what this is AJ Styles. Just so they can actually just talk about AJ it. Styles and Samoa Joe tape library. I think yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that Vince McMahon probably is just saying to himself, I'm going to own it one day. I might as well just wait until it's worth nothing and it's going in that direction. So who yeah. cares? I, I think uh, the, Brock Lesnar draws in the, um, the the casual mouth breathers who are just like, well, that uh, that wrestling, the WWE is fake, but uh, that guy's real. You know, that guy's mm-hmm. real. You know, like, sorry, bud. It's yeah. it's fuck wrestling. Wrestling. They should have had a two month stretch right there where, where Roman Reigns uh, beat the Undertaker at Rainy, which he did, of course. And then, like, directly after that, just like destroyed Brock Lesnar, too. He should have beat him the, the next, next night on Raw. Raw. That would have been fucking great. That actually would have been amazing. That would have been great. 
It's my yeah. yard now, motherfucker, or whatever he said. And then Brock Lesnar comes out, and they're just like, oh, it's your yard? Uh, not really. It's Brock Lesnar's yard. And they're like, all right, let's do it tonight, motherfuck. And then Roman Reigns fucking shits all over Brock Lesnar's face and wins the title. And then I would have fucking... It's a hell of a power it. move. Like, yeah, just taken off his vest, pulled his pants down, and just took a big steamy shit. Just on like, I, can't, big I can't breathe. Paul, I can't breathe. And he just, <laughs> Roman Reigns just pins him. Brock. Just cl- freaking Cleveland steamers, Brock Lesnar in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. In, yeah, it would have been great if they were in Cleveland too. Yeah, <laughs> they, they were a Samoan steamer. You want to see a Cleveland? <laughs> this is what your city's famous for, you, you people. This anyway. is what you want. <laughs> well, one, I, I real quick before. Uh, <laughs> Going back to Matt Hardy, like I, I think did you you did a buy or sell if you'd be broken or not, right? At one point, yeah, a little, a little while, yeah, yeah. Would you buy or sell that broken and specifically broken Matt Hardy will be universal champion, universal WWE champion, a, a world uh, top tier champion in WWE at, at some point? At Absolutely, point. yes. Ooh. Absolutely, you buy it? Yeah. Wow. I think. Cause, I, cause I Je- think so. Because Jeff I Hardy, look at it win. this way: Jeff Hardy already was a main eventer, and he was the most—he was the most over guy in the company when, when he left. Um, he yeah. got the loudest pop, and if, at, at, at anybody that I heard in person, he always got the loudest reaction. And uh, I'm sure they remember him, and they still see him as such. Matt Hardy never quite got there until now. His broken character definitely can be on that same level. So. Best thing to do for business eventually is going to be to split them up, put one on one show, one on the other, and they could both be champions. It's totally doable. Wow, double hearty champions. Yeah, I would probably, I, I'd probably buy it, but I wouldn't feel good about it to buy. I could definitely see them like just not putting the title on him at all, and just him being over it as hell, just a gimmick, as as an attraction of the gimmick. You know, it's possible. But do they do do they do the like the gimmicks, you know, like the sh- the, the the videos, the the total deletions, absolutely, the yeah, deletions or whatever it's called, yeah. like at the Hardy Compound and all that, like that. We I don't, need that I don't think they need to, but they could. But I, I think that they need one. I mean, like WWE's got to do their. version I mean, yeah, they can do the version of it, but I think that a lot of that was just. Will, be- I think that was. I was going to say w- w- the fact that W. So will du- sorry to interrupt, but will WWE's. But he's still good. Will this be a rare time where WWE's amazing production value actually hurt it? Because I think part of the charm was how I don't want to say poor the production value was, but I mean just how comical it was. I I think some of it was that it was it was necessity was the mother of creation in this one that TNA didn't have the resources to do that, so he took what? it upon himself and did it. Yeah, and I and, but the production thing. value was good. Oh yeah, no, it was. Like, but, but I it think was filmed really well. But now they WWE, might, yeah, they might try to overproduce it in WWE. Is what I'm saying. Like the production value, like they they, they cut it well to where it looked like a one year old won a match. You know, like the production value was good. Yeah. Uh, so I think they could definitely do it. Uh, will they overdo it? Probably, but I don't think I don't think they'll do it as much as the Hardys did it. And I think it'll be okay. I mean, it's just like, I don't know, man. Like, do we get Rebby? Do we get Maxwell? Do we get Senior Benjamin? You know, like, I don't do we need so. these things. Maybe. Skarsgård. Vanguard I think, 1. I think any combination of those things, at any, at even one of them, the fans will pop for, and that's really all you need. You don't need all of them. <laughs> yeah, but you don't need all. I feel like if we don't at least have some of that stuff, then people are going to be like, oh, this is, this is Broken Matt Hardy Light, and, you know. I think there's a very good chance that no matter what happens, people are going to say that anyway. Like yeah. some, somewhere along the line, they're going to do something that's not quite, you know, authentic about it, and people are going to be saying, "Oh, they ruined Broken Matt Hardy." 